Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there, obviously. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is going to be for any Pisces placement, propensity, shrine, square, whatever the hell you call it, that is important to you. Contact info, personal reading info, um, all the cards used, link in the description box, as well as mugs, whatever you see, check the description box. Link to the website is also there. I've got a flipper here. Um, the reading is aimed for the month of June, but time is elusive. Whenever it reaches you, that's when you are usually meant to hear it. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. And I do only take jumpers, so patience is appreciated. Five cards out. What else do we have for Pisces? Lots of masculine energy, Pisces. So, if you are not a masculine or don't identify as a masculine, definitely this could be someone else's energy. But I have a lot of masculine energy here. Okay. So much beautiful energy, though. You can sell your card. Okay. What else do we have for Pisces? One more card, please. Does it want to come out? <laughs> Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, we are looking at the Two of Pentacles. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Seems like needs to be made either on your behalf or a masculine here, heavily. Um, or it could just be masculine energy of you needing to take action towards something, right? It's time to take action, which is, you know, that masculine energy. It's time to move forward. It's time to push through. But decisions here. Maybe some of you have a lot on your plate with this two of pentacles. Juggling it all. Maybe you need to delegate with some responsibilities. If not, this is some sort of emotionally, very emotionally triggering situation that needs to be dealt with here. It needs to be figured out. It needs to be balanced. Some of you might be literally, your life is like a balancing act, you know? Got a lot going on. I feel you. I feel you, past energy. Queen of Swords and the Emperor, Aries energy. There definitely seems like there could be a conversation. Some words need to be said or have been said or are about to be said. Air sign energy with that uh, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, but someone's ready to talk. Okay, could be to a boss. Could be laying down the law to a boss, absolutely, telling him what you're worth, demanding. You know, you being compensated or whatever it is. De definitely a serious conversation here. Look at her face. That is a serious conversation <laughs> that somebody wants to have. It's not a boss. It's definitely someone that may be a boss in their own life. Someone that has a lot of responsibilities. Someone that's authoritative. You know, they tell people what to do. Not you, though. <laughs> not you, though. So definitely a conversation coming here. I think some truths were spoken or about to be spoken. Someone's definitely laying down the law. Okay. Present position, the two of cups and the king of cups. Hmm. Water sign energy with that king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But well, we're talking about love here, emotions. This two of pentacles is now giving me the vibe that uh, whatever this decision is to speak, it definitely is regarding emotions. And somebody has gone through a lot of should I, shouldn't I energy with this. Very emotionally invested into something here. Lots of emotions. Two of cups is a mutual emotional investment in each other. In a, in, a, in a situation, both of you love puppies, whatever it is. Highly unlikely, though, this is definitely someone that looks like they're in love with you. This could be what the conversation is about. There's a lot of love here. King of Cups is someone that feels very deeply. But as you usually express it all too much, right? Maybe he's not saying that this is mutual. Maybe he's not saying that this is something that is felt both ways. Because that's what that Two of Cups is. Emotion that is felt both ways. You're not alone in this. I'm here with you. Right? But definitely looks like this expression, this talk, whatever it is representing, it's definitely about emotions. It's definitely about how someone feels. Finally taking action maybe to express what it is they're really feeling. And maybe to someone's surprise, it's reciprocated. Because this is also reciprocative energy, right? And it's high vibration. But someone has definitely been trapped in their head. Not knowing, you know, illusionary entrapment. You guys know what this card is for me? <laughs> Leave it below this video. If you know what, what I'm going to say about this, put it in the comments. Okay? 
If you're if you're a true highly intuitive fan, you know exactly what I say about this really, really dumb energy. But I mean, it's human. It's a human condition. We all have been there. We all have gone through it as elusive and, 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 and ridiculous it is, as it is, right? Someone's definitely been trapped, though. Definitely trying to make a decision. Should I? Should I? Should I tell this person how I feel? At this point, there's nothing to lose with that Eight of Swords. Nothing to lose. You might as well. I think the decision is being made. Someone seeing very clearly beautiful energy. Because that Queen of Swords, she, she sees correctly, right? She'll get, she'll cut you free. Or this is what this person's need to harness. It's going to happen. Yes, because it's going to become too heavy for this person not to express. Definitely too heavy. Ten of Wands is why you're doing too much card. Definitely a time to delegate responsibilities as well. If it's just someone, this definitely could be someone that, you know, runs a business, doesn't have time for love or emotions, has been able to put it off for a very long time because, you know, of the demand of work. Definitely getting a heavy work vibe here, especially with this Two of Pentacles and the Emperor. Lots of demands with work. So that has been a priority for someone for a long time. But whatever this mutual connection is, it's beyond ignorable. It's beyond ignorable. This person could be lacking confidence when it comes to matters of the heart too because they're so sharpened in the, in the work area, right? But can't take it anymore. Need to say what I need to say. Future energy, two major arcanas, the chariot and the judgment. Beautiful energy, beautiful conclusion potential. Cancer energy, if I didn't just say that. But moving forward, someone is moving forward. And ironically enough, the chariot is the emperor's mode of transportation. Could be someone that drives a very nice car as well. Emperors usually drive really nice cars. I mean, not that that's, you know, that's just it maybe telling you who this person is. But someone's making a decision here very clearly. Very clearly making a decision. I'm ready to say what I need to say. I'm ready to take action. I'm ready to, to you know, step my claim, so to speak, or, or mark my ground or let it be known. Okay, but I think there's going to be the surprise for whoever this is that is ready to move forward, who that, that is making a decision here, that what whoever it is they're moving towards feels the same. Feel the same. Definitely something they've thought about long and hard. Due to past heartbreak, that's why they are insecure when it comes to emotions. They have been hurt before, but I mean, we all have. When are we going to let go of this story? It's only hurting ourselves, right? What do we have for Pisces? Wombat spirit, be at home, number 48. This is definitely giving me that extra vibe of someone that works a lot. Someone that has been probably married to their job for a very long time. But that also says that this person is pretty established. They can, they got, they probably got people they can get to do some things. So they can have time for love. Because whatever this is, I don't think, uh, I don't think they can resist it anymore. They want, they want to, they want to switch it up. Coming towards you hot, or you towards someone, Pisces. But there is a conversation here, it's gonna happen. Very important conversation that someone is making the decision to have. The ever unfolding rose cracked open, it is happening for you, not to you, absolutely. I think this is for whoever this emperor is that is getting ready to switch focus a little bit. You know, it's time to live. Spent enough time devoted to stability. It's time to stabilize the heart space. It's happening for you, not to you. Cracked open. Absolutely, the emperor is cracked open. Can't take it. This is like, I can't take it. I can't take it no more. What do we have for Pisces? Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Cupid's arrow, also very um, fertile energy for me, if that is relevant to you. You know, Cupid's mark, someone's heart has been shot. Undeniably. Okay, that is your, excuse me, that is your reading, Pisces. Do with it as you may. Hopefully it resonates. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment. If it does, see you all next week.